Good morning, this is Ralph and, and Suzanne over there on the camera here at uh, Squirrel Hill Farm. We uh, turned the chickens out for the morning, gave them their little ground up corn tree, and refilled their feeder in the house and waters. And, uh, while we're down here, last Tuesday I did a video of uh, one of our chickens on a tag thing. And then last night, as every night at dark, one of us comes down here, mostly Suzanne, and closes up the chickens in for the night at dark. For some reason, she stepped over here last night in this area and found one of our white chickens she thought was injured, the one that was in the video last week. Well, here's the back story. Okay. She's been missing for at least three days, and I didn't say anything about it because I was kind of getting sick about it. I thought something got her. And so, I've been, she gets, she sleeps at the barn at night. And I was hoping she was just where we couldn't see her. But, uh, last night when I was putting up the chickens, I always look around to make sure there's no stragglers. And I looked over here, and she was sitting there on the ground. And I went up to her because I thought she may be injured. It was nearly dark. I couldn't really see real good. And she puffed up at me. And I thought, uh-oh, somebody's got a nest. <laughs> so she's in a bad spot. I mean, it's a great spot for a nest, but it's a bad spot for a chicken to not to be enclosed anywhere. Protected. Because of predators. Our duck that I put out of the chicken pen didn't last very long, so I was afraid the same thing was going to happen to her. Which brings me to, brings us to the other part of this video, which is panels. fence panels. I knew there was, we had that electric netting stuff, but I know it's all tangled up over there. It'd take me hours to undo it. But we, we love fence panels, and yes. yeah, they're expensive, but man, are they handy, and they're just the right size, and they're easy to handle. You don't have to worry about a big roll of wire. You can shape them without cutting them. Yep, you can shape them. We shape this one into a semicircle. I have it open right now so she can go in and out, but... We'll close it up again tonight. But I had a couple of panels over there that we hadn't been using. Drug them over here, and we attached them to the existing fence, and just made her a little pen. Not, I, I know that something could get in there and get her, but at least it's a. They'll have to climb over it or fly. Over. It's a level of security. So we came down here this morning. She's fine. We gave her some food and water. And, of course, she's promptly run off to the barn. I hope she comes back and gets on her nest because we might actually get some chicks. So we're just going to kind of leave her, leave her alone. Anyway, these fence panels, how much do we pay for them? They're under $40. Each? Each, and now you can't haul them in a pickup truck but one or two at a time. Now we have them delivered so for a small delivered. fee, we don't have a fee from our... We, we order them from our feed store, and we get the ones that's got the four-by-four four holes. Four by four holes. Um, the goats the, can't get their heads in it. The young goats <clears throat> could get through the bigger ones. And small predators can't get through it. Of course, they can climb over. I know that. But we like these. The goats can't get their heads through. Our goats are dehorned anyway, so that... That problem is eliminated with horns, but we just like these. They seem sturdier. They, they tend to be, yeah, a little heavier. And uh, there's so many uses for them. We've used them for a little bit of everything. We built a hog trap with them. Well, Suzanne did. She caught a hog, neighbor's hog. But we so used them. We built our whole fence with it. And we, we order, we usually order them 10 at a time when we're doing fence. And uh, so we've done the whole fence. 
and the ch chicken yard is done in it and uh our trellis see. oh yeah our trellis where our uh loofah gourds are our old pig pen was done in them the nice oh, thing yeah. is the, the nice thing pen. is you don't need a tractor you don't need a come along you don't need a fence stretcher and you don't need to spend hours and hours stapling and tied you can pound a stake in with a fairly cheap piece of equipment or a hammer the stakes are a little spending when you use three per panel but you're going to need that on wire too <coughs> and wire needs to be repaired all the time you seldom have to repair one of these unless a tree falls directly on it and then you just take it out and you put another one in if we decide we want to take part of the fence down we just take it down we don't have to worry about rolling up wire right um, we just take them down, stack them up, stack up the T-post. Out of the um, way. So basically all you need to build a fence with these is the posts, the panels. A little bit of wire. A post pounder. And we use electrical wire to... Electrical fence wire. That's yeah, cheap. electrical fence the wire. The cheap wire. To... It's stainless, it doesn't rust out. To bind them together. Or zip ties. Zip ties work too. Zip ties work good. Um, you, you they will dry there. rod over time. You did though. keep them hogs trapped in there. I with did. Zip ties. The heavy duty ones. The heavy duty ones I used. Um, and they work good. They do. I think they do degrade over time though. But but this wire works yes. good. So that's what we built. Yeah, our fence. fence. One of the billy goats kept getting through. So we lined it with panels. Yeah, I've got panels on my my buck fence. Now, the American fence over there to the boundary was the neighbors doing. Mm -hmm, this is and he the did a nice fence. job at it and the goats haven't got through there. He he did a good job, but he had the you know, he had the strength, the youth to do it. And he had two young boys. We to don't. <laughs> yeah, we're on our own. <laughs> and we don't own a tractor. No which would be handy but uh, the cost of one is just outrageous and i yeah. just really didn't want to be out there a wrestling a big old important. roll of fence i don't know this may be the mother or the other one that came down here um was. i don't know she, she's looking yeah she's looking yeah that's her she goes where are my babies well come on back here mama do i need to go let you out of the gate so you can come over here. I'm gonna go in there and catch her and I'll put her over here. She's looking back in here. I'll keep the camera for a bit. Well, I'll keep you out of it if you don't want to be. Oh, never mind, Dad. Here she comes. Did she come out? She's coming. Oh, okay. We knew you'd figure it out. You want some help? Mm -hmm. You want some help, honey? She's waiting for you to pick her up. She's pretty good about that. I would just set her down over the fence at it. Let her figure that hole out. She knows where the hole is. Let's just get out of her way and let her go back to her. too far from them, do you? Good girl. You're a good girl. Now go hatch me some... Yeah, give mom some biddies. Give us some chicks. <laughs> oh, God. She's going to eat the feed through the fence. Well, that's alright. She's eating it. 
I would not just throw her in on the outside so she can go buy her eggs. And if yeah, she come out, then she'll know I where the hole she, is. She can't miss them there. She can see them. She's looking at them right now. Uh -huh. This is all new to her. This stuff wasn't there yesterday. Yeah, but I would have been heartbroken if I'd come down here Got this her. morning and she'd be gone. Because the coyote got her. Yeah, go in there with your babies. Come on. All you gotta do is go that way. <laughs> You're in a bad mood, aren't you? Are you in a bad mood? Let's try again. She says one, two, three. How many did we say was in there? Fourteen? Fourteen of, looks like her eggs. And uh, three darker brown ones. But the three, I think she's kicked out. Got to roll them in there. Get them up under her. Maybe too many for her to try to do. We'll see. And we've got another hen that is chronically broody, but she's never hatched anything. They're silky. This hen is totally different than her. To me, she's, there, she's being motherly. She's really protective. I've never seen Fifi roll an egg. No. All right, good girl. All right, folks, that's what's happening here at Squirrel Hill Farm. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. And uh, please subscribe. We appreciate everybody that's coming to our channel, watching the videos and all the good comments. And as always, if you have a comment, give it to us down below. See you in the next one.